Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Well, uh, hopefully we're, we're live back, now. We're back, we're back, in, we're back on. We, um, Dave's actually made us late. Yeah, that I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Dave, he's he, gonna he's gonna do. He's, I'm bored to be punished. Yeah, maybe punished today. So I'm, he's already he's got backup plans for stuff like that. So there um, there'll, there'll be um, <laughs> some sort of a special punishment for me during the stream today. So yeah, um, <laughs> just wait for it and uh, enjoy it when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What's on the poll today, Fred? Ah, uh, well, t today's poll is actually a special poll. Yep. Um, I, I thought it would be nice to ask, uh, is Bob Ross a good painter? Who is Bob Ross? Well, that's a good question. Um, so, Do you know who Bob Ross is? Uh, I do know who Bob Ross is. Okay. Because every time I've ever did miniature painting, somebody mentions Bob Ross, usually in the live stream. Okay. They, just, they just haven't this time around. Right. Okay, I can hear myself. You can unplug this. Excellent. <clears throat> and then... Uh, um, so for those of you who are starting to realise that maybe I'm getting naughtier and naughtier with my, my memes, uh, you, you, you are in for a treat. Um, so <laughs> oh, yeah, either yeah, yeah. I will drive people away or I will make you laugh. Uh, <laughs> in, in, in any case, um, David, lead us off. Um, welcome to How to RPG. Um, I'm David Bailey. I'm your guest painter here today. And let's get rocking. Let's, let's do some painting. This is it. This is this is it. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is it. Well, well, do you want to do your thing, and yep. I will do my thing. Yep. Whatever thing that is. Yeah. 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 For those of you who don't know, uh, David has his own YouTube channel, and he does a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of you do. Um, you've done Dungeons and Dragons. You do a lot of Warhammer Forty K. You do a lot of uh, fantasy. Uh, you got a lot of pop culture. You like cars, so there's a lot of car stuff on there. Uh, currently, it's overrun. It will overrun be overrun with cars at the moment. But D I, yeah. didn't you just like just dump like a I, lot of car videos? I maxed it out. It actually failed. It okay. actually failed to, to upload after a while. Okay, yeah, so yeah. that's how many he dumped all at once. Um, he's just trying to get his uh, his stuff out there. But you don't really work on cars that much anymore, do you? No, no, not really. Um, it's very time consuming and I just want to focus on painting. Mm -hmm. So um, miniatures are easy because yep. you just prime them and paint them. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, I just I just prefer that. It's, it's just it's just so much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. getting some new paints out. I bought some more paints today. Yeah, I think you like the uh, more artistic aspect of it too, if I remember you saying. Yeah. <coughs> um, and I mean, you know, yeah, there's only just there's only so much you can do with cars. You'll see on my channel what I've done with the cars. I've gone as crazy as I can go. Um, that fan is good. So for those of you who might have signed up and thought suddenly he switched gears, it's actually not true. He's just putting putting up videos that he had made some videos on your cars, not all of them. Uh, and then of course you lost the channel and then you had to sort of have to start again. So um, <clears throat> I don't know how easy this is going to be for you to be able to see, but I've tried to position it so it's not sort of in the way as much as I can. You can still sort of view the thing. That's cool, eh? Okay. It looks like All right. a, oh, so many cool things. Hello, welcome, OKest DM. Hello, Dennis. How are you doing? You're working on the same miniature yourself? Really? <clears throat> mm. Cool. De so Dennis, Dennis has actually got a YouTube channel, uh, and he talks about um, his experience um, being a game master. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and, you know, other stuff. I think probably my favourite thing that uh, Dennis does is uh, actually being a nice guy uh, when he's joined us on the uh, the Game Master or what used to be formerly called the Dungeon Master Roundtable Discussions. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, uh, also I think my, my favourite thing that Dennis does is he, he talks about... Um, advanced Dungeons and Dragons monsters mm -hmm. and tries to sort of up, update them uh, and or do something with them, which I think is a really good, you know, uh, idea, personally. Yep. I think it's got a, a lot of merits. <clears throat> it's what um, uh, Dungeon Dad has built his channel around. Core blimey, how, how is it supposed to work moving forward? Who knows? But um, I'm sure there is a way. I'm sure there is a way. I don't know. I saw a... Um, one of my friends posted on, on Hobby Night. Um, she posted about... All this debacle and stuff. Okay. And she was just saying, um, looks like Pathfinder's going to be back and strong. 
So <clears throat> for, the, for those of you who are wondering what, what's been going on, I'm probably going to be talking a lot more about Star Wars Saga, which is actually, if you've ever played um, 3.5 Dungeons & Dragons, or you've ever discussed uh, or ever played um, uh, <clears throat> what other version? Pathfinder, first ed edition, or you've ever played, uh, to a certain extent, Tunnels and Trolls, and a few other RPGs that have, you know, those six um, abilities or attributes, you'll be very familiar. Um, and actually, the transition, even if you've played 5e, you'll find the transition very easy. So for those of you who are, you know, wondering what's that going to look like, well, seriously, um, I'm, I'm going to teach people how to play a game that won't cost you a cent. You won't have to buy nothing. Nothing. Everything will be free. And, uh, yeah, how's, how's that? Also, I've played Fudge. Um, or should I say Fate? Because um, Fate's built on the Fudge engine. And so I will probably be teaching people how to play Bulldogs. Because apparently you can still get Bulldogs, the, um, the Fate classic. Which is what I played for a long time. So for those of you who are wondering about Fate, well I will of course talk about it. But I will actually show you how to play it. It's getting the dice that are, that's um, the most difficult aspect. You can still get the PDF um, for about 5 bucks, And you probably can get it free somewhere too as well. Uh, what's this, Dennis? Um, great discussion at the uh, the round table every time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say every time, but most of the time it's been pretty good. Most of the time it's been pretty good. I've done a lot of them. So we've, we've probably, Dennis, I have probably had to talk about the same Game Master advice stuff multiple times. Multiple times. To the point where I'm, I've, I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> I just, I'm ready to, to move on to the creation aspect of things a lot more than I was before. Uh, Star Wars is another one of my uh, to play lists. So the reason why I've, I've selected Star Wars Saga as something to discuss in the future is because when I know how to play it, um, I dungeon mastered it. I, I was, a, I was a, a game master for it. And I also played as a character. And it's got Jedi. Do I need to say any more? And it's so similar to what you're used to already. If you're on my channel, the transition will be easy. Um, fate's different, but you'll actually still find fate relatively easy to play as well. It, like I said, it's just getting the dice. So those are those are sort of things moving forward. Um, I actually was looking more into um, Pathfinder Second Ed Edition, and one of the, I guess one of the, the issues around um, Pathfinder Second Ed Edition is one I wasn't really that interested uh, because I just feel like it's another knockoff of um, Dungeons and Dragons, or should I say Dungeons and Donuts. <clears throat> but the I did seriously look at it because I essentially it's it's a clone. Um, I looked at old school essentials, so I've got the old school essentials. You can actually get it for free; it doesn't cost you a thing. Um, oh wow, that's an amazing paint uh, paint job. Faces are tough. Yeah, well, David's good at uh, highly detailed stuff. He's got some special glasses for doing all that sort of thing. Hey, David. Yeah, I tried to use them the other day. Yeah, it didn't work out that well, did Not it? Not on this string, no. No. Yeah. But the problem is, what I've discovered with Pathfinder is they're sold out. And I can't actually buy Pathfinder in New Zealand. Now, I know people will be saying, yeah, but you can still get the PDF. But I don't want the PDF. The, the, problem, the problem with a product which is just digital for me is that something can go wrong and I can lose it. And I, I'm, I'm much more attached to a physical... I thought you lost it ages ago, Fred. Well, that's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I have, I have. And, you know, um, New Year 2023, um, I've lost it more than, than, than... Than you ever have. Than I ever have before. But yeah. then, you know, I think everybody has. Yeah, I uh, think everybody, you know, yeah, definitely. Everybody has. So, you know, you've got to gotta take it in, in... It's a perspective, people. It's perspective. Perspective. So I can't get the starter box. Um, I can't get the core rules... And so I can't really do very much. I, I would have I would have actually just learnt the, the game and started teaching people how to play that game as well. Um, uh, I'm looking at Tunnels and Trolls. Tunnels and Trolls is I think made back in 1976, a couple of years after Dungeons and Donuts, I believe, and it's it's very similar in many respects. Um, <clears throat> But it's been out of print for a long, long time. I know they've got a Kickstarter currently um, operating or going. So, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh... Sorry, Dad, I keep... Give me the book. <clears throat> Give you the book? Where are you going to put the book? On the floor. Uh, on the floor? That's going to help you? Okay. Uh, uh... Okay. <clears throat> 
So I'm, I was trying to hold the book and sort of so David could see it all the time while trying to talk into the microphone. Not very easy, but he's, uh, he's, he's got it under control. I've got it under control, don't worry about it. All right. We'll be sweet. <clears throat> so I, it looks like me, you, you're really going to focus hard down on this face, right, by the looks? Yeah. Yep. Get the shark teeth on there, get the eyes done. Okay. All right. Yep. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So Bob Ross, you don't know who Bob Ross is? No, I don't know who Bob Ross is. Who is Bob Ross? So, um, kind of a, quite a famous um, a celebrity painter. I would say he Bob Ross could... Because he had a show. He had a show where he would paint um, on TV. And you could see what he was doing. And he would talk a lot as he was going. And one of the th most common things that you'd, he'd quote or say as he was painting, usually with an oversized brush... And usually flicking the paint all over the place and generally sort of, uh, I don't know. It's like, how do you make painting entertaining when it's a process that can take quite a long time? Yeah. And, I mean, it really, it's, you'd think that paint, watching somebody paint would be like watching grass grow, right? Yeah. Or it's pretty cool grass out there. Yeah. Um, and I would, even, I would even uh, line it more in line with, watching somebody play um a multi-day cricket like uh, cricket crickets crickets pretty hard to watch if it's like going to cover go over you know the no, same some game. people like cricket so we can't do well it. yeah so I, i've just i don't i've just i've just i've just scared off everybody who loves cricket now yeah. um i'm in new zealand so our our national sports are rugby and cricket and then netball would probably come after that yeah um but Frankly, it's it's rugby and cricket. So in summer and autumn, it's cricket. cricket, and usually almost all the time, except for summer, it's rugby in some form. Yeah. Um, they have various things going on there. Yeah. <clears throat> these these all involve balls, by the way. Um, then in most sports do involve a ball. Well, <sighs> okay. So I don't need to point that out. So you already knew that. So Bob Ross, back to Bob Ross because yep. we, I got I got distracted by balls rather than talking about Bob Ross. Oh man, Fred. <sighs> okay, back to Bob Ross. Who's okay, he? all right. So, um, what back, does he paint though? He would just use to paint landscapes and stuff like that. Oh, things, okay. Things things that he could do quite quickly, and one of his common things he's like, paint happy little trees. Happy little trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then the other everything was happy, like it's happy little trees, happy little rocks. Happy little mistakes. You know, there's no mistakes. They're, they're happy little mistakes. You, <laughs> yeah. you, you're happy that you made that mistake. Oh. It's actually supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, um, yeah. It's new. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, oh, no, but it's old, isn't it? So, so the I think the idea behind it was that, like anybody could do it, and you, you you could still be happy with your your the final result of what you were painting, because there was no, you know, uh, well, this isn't very good. I don't want anybody to see it. So I think Bob was trying to inspire people to Welcome paint more. To my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm laughing and crying at the same time. Uh, so so Dennis reckons that rugby is so much cooler than American football. Um, I fell in love when I saw the the people get thrown in the air to catch the ball. Oh yeah, okay. So there's a lot going on. To be fair though, I like American football. I, I, I mean, I, I like American. Football. American. I mean, gridiron. We call it gridiron here. American football, gridiron. Um, That's like a mix of cricket and rugby because it takes a long time to play the game. Well, I, I, I actually think that gridiron reminds me, when I compare it to, to rugby, it reminds me of somebody trying to play rugby, but they have decided to finally throw the ball forward rather than backward. Which <laughs> yeah. One of the most frustrating aspects of playing rugby is you can't throw the ball forward. Yeah. You can kick it forward, yeah. but you can't throw the ball forward. No. Whereas at least gridiron, you can throw the ball forward. <clears throat> but you can't do that with rugby. I mean, jeez, really? Um, yet there are probably more people in the world who play rugby, although I think probably gridiron uh, American um, football players probably get paid better than anybody playing rugby. Yes. Uh, just because of the, the hubaloo and the show that goes on with those games. Uh, everything's bigger in America, so yeah. Well, that's something. That's including what, the paychecks. That's where. So, <laughs> so I, I just, I just look at um, uh, American football and when comparing it to rugby, that is the New Zealand national game. Mm. 
I just account it to somebody's finally decided to throw the ball forward and on top of that they've decided that it's actually a good idea to wear pads so that you don't get hurt. Uh, ah, do you know what I mean? yes, yeah. and helmets so you don't get cauliflower the, uh, Yeah, or just knocked out. Um, Which happens so much to a lot of rugby players that when they've finished, they've had so many concussions sometimes by the end of their career, they can't even talk properly anymore. Well, I mean... It's I'm, a bit like boxing. <laughs> with a rugby ball. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't... I mean, when they when they finally retire, it's always concerning when one of them says, I'm going to go into business. And you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, you know, like, well, you know, it, is it the best idea? You know, yeah. you've, you've, you've had a hard life uh, yeah, yeah. in your um, sporting career. Yeah, yeah so, um, yeah, you, there's there's no pussyfooting around with rugby. It's uh, And I've played it as a kid, and yeah. we I played... Um, just normal rugby, which is just called rugby union, and also league, which is a little bit different. It's a faster game. Uh, there's probably a lot. You won't see a ruck very often. No. You, you know, you won't. You won't really see. Um, I mean, you have lineouts, um, but that's a kind of the idea is that the ball keeps moving as fast as possible. Yep. And then, of course, if um, if you wind up getting tackled too many times, you lose control of the ball. Um, I think it's uh, you know. Six tackles and you lose control of the ball. You have to pass it over to the other side. Um, and this is to stop sort of like um, people bashing and punching each other in, in the middle of uh, <coughs> a huddle. <coughs> mm. You know that huddle thing? Oh, the, the cuddle, yeah. Yep. I'm sure that gridiron players um, get hurt. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. But 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 I, I think you'll find that uh, rugby is far more dangerous as a sport <laughs> than Actually, gritty. I remember watching a World <laughs> Cup, uh, one of the World Cups, where they had uh, the the USA um, team came in and played rugby in the world one of the World Cups, and they had a bunch of gridiron players, and they got hurt. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, I mean, by the time the game is finished, if you're looking at like a, a world championship, I can't count the number of times that uh, whoever's playing, like there's just... There's just bandages everywhere. Yep. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, it's it's it's, yeah. it's a it's a mess. Um, blood bowl. Blood bowl. Yeah, I suppose it's more akin to blood bowl. Yeah, yeah. At least, yeah. That all they've done is taken away the spiked, the the, the padding and the and the, the spiked ball. And the green skin. And the green skin orcs. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway, how did we get onto sport of all things to be discussing while you were painting this thing? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. Okay. All right. How do we ever get onto any topics? Oh, well, it's, I don't know. <laughs> so, we, what do you is this? What are you painting onto this thing? I'm painting. I'm back on the fair again. I'm going to dull it down a little bit. Okay. And just and, and not go the rainbow colour. I tell you. Right. Okay. All right. And I'll okay. Pull it back. Okay. Right. You. you pull, Sorry, everyone. No rainbows. Okay. You, I'll let yeah. you pull that back. Fred, you keep... Fred, Fred's not into rainbow unicorns. No, not really. Not really. Is anybody? Uh, uh, fantasy sport, you know, um, blood ball. Yeah, blood blood bowl is actually, you know, it's actually a, a game that I could have played if I really wanted to. I mean, it's still around, I believe. It is. It's still popular too, actually. I think it came back. It went away. Yep, it came back. They're making new miniatures for it. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's seeing an uprising. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice way to transition from playing sports in a... In a miniature painting um, live stream to um, back to miniatures and, and uh, tabletop games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicely done. So, there's a question. In a role-playing game like Pathfinder or Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, <laughs> yeah. um, can you um, end up, like in your story, making a game like a rugby game happen? You probably could. So you could include if you wanted to. Uh, and, of course, who would be the referee? It'll be the manticore. And, yes. Yeah, and if you the want the friendly manticore. No, 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 no. So the manticore will be running the uh, the blood bowl game. Yes, the and blood your, bowl. And your fantasy, um, fantasy role playing game of yep. whatever it is, or yep, yep. your science fiction. I don't mean, I, I don't care. I mean, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. And if if you wind up being called off the field, he eats you. Yeah. Yeah. There's so no mercy. There's no mercy. It's a ref with absolutely no mercy. No and mercy. He will just and he gets hungry at mid to, um, um halfway point and he might actually eat someone anyway. Yeah. If you get a penalty and get sent off field, bam, eat him. Yeah. This is the way to go. Yep. Um. So for those of you who are wondering how who was going to be their referee, Manticore. Yeah. The man eater. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I've been spending a lot of time looking at images of Deadpool and trying to figure out what Deadpool is trying to communicate and the problem with Deadpool as you know 
is... He's Ryan Reynolds. It's Yeah, Ryan Reynolds is playing Deadpool. But the, the problem I find with Deadpool is um, it's hard to know how far you can go with a meme. Because Deadpool seems feels like he goes quite, quite a long way. He goes quite a long way, yeah. Yeah. I mean, my idea of humour is essentially what people would consider not very humorous or just dad humor. Yeah. Right? So I, I was looking at a whole lot of images and, and, and doing some study, uh, watching some movies, uh, watching some little clips, ad, advertising, trying to figure out, like, how do I make a Deadpool meme? So I've done my very best. This was the first one you've seen. I have actually a few of them. <laughs> um, so you will be having to suffer through many, many uh, Deadpool memes that I will place on my channel, usually at the beginning, at the end of the stream. Um, <laughs> I believe the the ending one's pretty good. Did you not uh, find that funny? Yeah, I find it funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, got, I think mm -hmm. everyone should find that funny, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's hopefully, 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 hopefully. hopefully people don't see it as bad and bad taste. Anyway, it's, it's in good taste. It's, it's in good, to be taste. good taste. Yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a jest. Um, okayest. So Dennis, what's got here? Painting question. Why why black for the uh, the teeth? Uh, because, um, you know that stuff that you put on your teeth that makes them go all dark before they go white? Really, really white? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> so that, that, that um, I'm sure that didn't answer your question at all. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who are hoping for an actual answer to that question, no. <laughs> 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 they will be white. Uh, they, yeah, but you don't you don't paint the inside of the mouth completely white. What you the idea usually is you paint it black, and then inside if there's a tongue, you then you would paint the tongue whatever color you want the tongue to be, and then if there's any kind of flesh colors, usually darker flesh colors that you want to put in there rather than lighter flesh colors, then you do that, and then then last you would do the teeth, mm. which will usually be like a, a an off white. Mm. Because stark white sort of is a bit much. It's like, oh, someone has gone to the dentist and had uh, that whitening treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what this is, the black stuff. Yeah. It's the whitening treatment. The whitening treat treatment, which you, you always want to do last. Last. You want to do that last yeah. because otherwise your paintbrush winds up putting the paint where it shouldn't be. Yeah. Hello, Dan. Dan is a um, patron and also a moderator. Welcome for, uh, welcome to show, show, thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. My gosh, man. And I thought uh, I thought my my channel was going to tank uh, around all of this stuff, and boy, by gum, is it definitely doing that? <laughs> I was I was looking at it, thinking, wow, that's that's this time of the year, but there, apparently there is no limit to how far it can drop. <laughs> there is no. It doesn't limit. help when you base it hundred percent around a specific game. Yeah. And then that specific game turns into. Um, a custard square. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like then a, you have to completely rechange everything. So, actually, I want to talk a little bit it's about that rare, rare because I, I think a lot of people were assuming that, um, that that it would actually affect me hugely. Well, it does affect me hugely. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, what's this? Dennis? Ah. So, yeah, dark, shadowy base underneath all of the other layers. Got it. Yeah. So, the, yeah. the, idea, the idea being that um, anything that's sort of further back in, in a cre big, huge, deep crevice like somebody's mouth, is you probably won't be able to see very much. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Especially not with these bloody models. Yeah. And, I mean, and, and, and you don't... Well, also, too, I mean, let, let's get real. When you go and get a whitening treatment, it's not like manticores go to the dentist. No, you could even do green teeth, to be honest. I mean, they must be pretty dirty. Well, yeah, or um, sort of, I mean... He's I, got shark teeth, but he's not underwater, so they're not getting cleaned regularly by salt water. No, they're not. No, they're probably they're probably covered. I mean, maybe they have the, their own way of, um, you know, cleaning their teeth. Isn't the eating the bones of um, oh, the yeah, victims... Oh, yeah, eating the bones does eating, help. And the, isn't the marrow supposed to help as well with that whole process? I, yeah. I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I think well, it does. Although any time I've put um, bone marrow on something, it definitely didn't whiten it. <laughs> it definitely didn't whiten it. Yeah. So yeah. So usually manticores don't go to the dentist to get whitening treatment <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they eat the dentist. No, no. That's not the biggest problem. The problem is they've got three rows of teeth on the bottom and the top. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, how how long would that take? That's a long time. It's a very expensive, and they don't have enough money. Oh, so Dan, what do you got here? I noticed that uh, searching for how to RPG did not come come up as it did for how to D&D on YouTube. That's right, it doesn't. 
it's almost non-existent. The channel name in itself, if you type in something like how to D&D, what you find is my channel name used to, to drive a lot of traffic because it would pop up. That's one of the reasons why I picked the name in the, in the first place. Um, so I looked at the search results for how, um, how to RPG or this, the words RPG, and it's really, really bad. Like it's awful. Uh, so I expect the channel to really suffer quite badly. I see a few people are not worrying about that and they're just going on as, you know, business as normal um, because they do this full time. But also too, they probably don't really, I mean, I mean, whatever they've said, they probably don't really care that much. Um, but since I was solely trying to promote, to a large extent, um, Dungeons and Donuts, uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt this channel quite a lot. So, but to give you an idea of where things will wind up ending eventually. Oh, which monster would you make the best dentist? That's a good question, Dennis. <clears throat> I, I, I feel like that's a good question. I, do I know the answer to that? I need time. Let me think about that question. Who would make the best dentist for a Dungeons and... I feel like you could make a dentist could be a variety of different creatures, actually. Yeah. I think the Illithid. You know the 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 tendril the tendrils coming off their their mouth could be used to help extract teeth. Mm. Um, I mean they they're used to extract other things, brains. But yeah, why why not go with that? That would uh, that would work for me. Um, would it work for other people? The only problem is there's always that you know okay I've done the teeth, and what else would I like to play with as well? Um, yeah, so you got to be careful about that sort of thing. Hello, how's it going, art teacher online? That's my mum. <laughs> Change it up again, Fred. Well, so for those of you who, who've been watching me or listening to me for a while, you'll know that my intention had always been to build another game system. That was pretty much um, a retro clone, or a not even a retro clone, but a clone of Dungeons & Donuts. Uh, and so I was going to do that in 2024. I've been telling my patrons I'm going to be doing this for a while. And so they had two years to wait before I sort of started, you know, I, I started seriously working on it. I've got notes, working notes, and that's it. But I needed to, to do it. I need a lot of time. And there isn't a lot of time. So the only way to do it is to do it online. So you, that's what we're gonna, I'm going to do is I, I will, I'll just push forward with that project rather than waiting till two, 2024. If Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro can build a new uh, um, version of their game, I can build a new version of their game as well, um, which I will. Uh, and I'll just make sure that it doesn't breach any copyright uh, and stuff like that and doesn't use the, um, the, 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 the ogle, the um, OGL thing. The ogle. the ogle, that's right. Yep. I mean, that's, that's where I'm going with this. So yeah, I will. Uh, I will be doing that. You will see. You'll see a lot of that going on. And then, of course, I will make um, all of that available on Patreon, um, probably for free, uh, just for uh, the entertainment factor. I wasn't wanting to do that, but that may be what winds up happening. Um, the other thing is, like, to transition the 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 Lost Mon of Fandelva DM tutorials across is actually it will take a bit of time, but I'll just do that online as well. It can be done. It, it, they can be transitioned over. So it's not it's not the end of the world. It's whether I will pick up enough viewership because they don't doesn't have the word Lost Mine of Fandalva DM tutorial. Whereas I would call it something like Game Master Tutorial, and that's it. And so it would have you know um, eight weeks of pretty much the same sort of thing, but with other things going on, different maps. Different, slightly different information because it won't be specific to areas, stuff like that. Elmi alone, hello. I would love to um, be. I would love to be classes where feats are what keep characters skill questions. To, I don't understand anything that you've just said there. I don't understand. Don't even bother reading it. It's it's it doesn't make classless. any classless. A classless. Where feats are what give characters skills. Question is would those skills give you stat bonuses yeah so yeah i, I so th this this is the other thing when i when i do build a new a new system sort of basically re backward engineer 
I, I have, I mean, I, I will listen to what you have to say in the chat, but I'm building it based on my goals. Um, and I want to show you how easy it is for you to build your own. But I won't be building somebody else's system, okay? So no matter what um, patrons say, no matter what people in the, in the chat say, I'm going with what I think is necessary. Now, you'll you will actually have noticed that uh, if you've if you've looked at some of the games that um, Tunnel and Trolls is actually the system is actually very similar to Dungeons and Donuts, and uh, you'll also find that um, Deathbringer, which is made by um, Dungeon Craft Professor, he calls himself Professor Dungeon Master, uh, and he his system is very small it's very short very short and ultimately it's essentially the same game do you know what I mean it's the same game it looks so similar because it is <laughs> um dan let's hope this ogl debacle goes away and back to old days so it can never go back to old days dan and i've, I've i think a lot of people have assumed that it can go back but it can't now the reason being is and I could I could list all the reasons, and maybe I will do a video that explains all this, so it's it's not you know stuck in the middle of a live stream that's on painting. But the problem is that Wiz Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro Hasbro's been owned by Wizards of the Coast when the original open game license was was cre um, created. Okay, so Hasbro agreed to this from the very get go. Once they benefited from it. And, you know, 3.5 was really successful, and they decided it's time to have a, a 4E disaster. Disaster struck. Did not work. Okay, so they didn't want to have an open game license back in 2000 and, um, uh, what was it, 2008, when 4E was released. I think that's right. So they didn't want it. That's why they tried to make the... The GSL, which was the game standard license, which was much more restrictive, and really nobody wanted to um, print under it for a variety of different reasons. So then they reverted back to let's have, go back to the open game license for 5e. 5e is really successful. There are a lot of things that made it successful, but frankly, um, the openness of the system was really important. Now they're going going to go back with your one D and D. Uh, to something else which essentially is around um, a much more restrictive um, element like it doesn't even matter now the reality is that they don't Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro do not ultimately want to do this they will do this again in the future you give them enough years and they will have another go I won't work um, on a company's product when they want to do that but that doesn't stop me from making stuff that doesn't have game rules in it which is one of the things I'll say right now is all of that um, dungeon master preparation um, program can be turned into a system agnostic um, program so you can make everything that you want to make for any system that's probably going to be a better idea did I mean that's probably going to be a better idea only in, uh, in the long term I don't know that I'll see the the benefits straight away I see a lot of people trying to do that already um, um, some more successful than others uh, probably because one of the things I realized when I was designing it is I needed to make sure I had a very strong structure to it. And then I also needed to realize that whatever I did needed to be able to be reproduced over and over again because new people would be stepping into the live streams. So those programs will, will just get redeveloped. So they won't go away. And um, Monster, well, we... I don't need to talk about monster mechanics, although I know a lot of people really like the fact that I was showing people how to um, take the existing 5e monsters and kind of like retool them, refix them, modify them, remaster them. Um, but we can do monster lore easy peasies, and uh, that, that's not that's not difficult. We we can make that. I mean, that was part of the the whole point of creating monsters. Creating monsters, there are sort of like three aspects to creating monsters. And even the monster lore. A lot of the lore on monsters is is folklore, mythology, and, and legend. And that doesn't have a copyright attached to it. So I can talk about those sorts of things. It's, it's not really a... Yeah, so there is no going back. Um, there is only moving forward. And really, 
to a large extent system agnostic or something that can be used in any system whatever you're wanting to play is probably where I'm heading do you know what I mean and then things like character building well I'll show people how to play um build a Jedi for Star Wars Saga or, or a noble or a scoundrel or you know all those sorts of things um, I'll show people how to make a character for bulldogs or the fate system um, I can certainly show you how to and the concepts behind building characters in other ways as well but uh, yeah that the so what's what's what, what do you got here what's this um uh, continue using um, duck and dodge or um, alphabetic letters that uh, are closer to the the first letters in the alphabet for the egg log so YouTube the YouTube machine has never done me any favors I mean it's gonna hurt but the reality is that the YouTube machine has never really been that keen on what I do anyway doesn't matter how big how many subscribers I've had that doesn't actually subscribers doesn't equate to actual viewing traffic that's the reality um, so no, I think the, the best way forward is to actually, to, to stay, I was always wanting to kind of do this because I realized that every time I try to do something outside of, uh, Dungeons and Donuts, um, it would do poorly. And it's because the, the variety of, the majority of people coming to the channel aren't here for just general RPG stuff that are here for Dungeons and Donuts. So it'll take a long time to make that shift possible. I'm probably going to lose a lot of people along the way. I'm sure I'm going to have a few people who are like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get worried. But the reality is that a lot of the stuff that I, I, I've made in the past can be made without being associated with um, Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro in any way, shape or form. Um, the reason being is that's just how it is, you know. Hi Russ, how's it going? Fred, I want to thank you for the Lost Mind of Fandalba videos. You're welcome, um, Russ. I'm glad they were useful to you. Um... I am a new DM. Uh, last night, my wife and my six-year-old and my 11-year-old son finished the Red Brand Hideout, and the kids said they had the best time of their lives. Thank you. You're welcome. So one of the things I want to do with... I want to be able to build a system that can be used by a six-year-old or a five-year-old. And right now, most game systems don't allow for that. Now, you can go to a specific system built for kids... But it's not really what adults want. So the, 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 the secret to this is to have a system that can transition over to a more adult game over time. And that's never been built. I've said it, I've talked about it heaps and heaps of times. So character building. You, the character building stuff won't disappear. We'll just be building different types of characters. Hello Fendar. Fendar is a patron, also a moderator. Thank you for uh, showing up. Um, it's one of the things I really want to do is I, I'm, I'm looking to to expand the hobby to a younger age group but also I'm also looking at the adult age group as well do you know what I mean because a lot of the stuff I see out there it doesn't feel like it's made for me it, it, it's not it's not hard it's not rock and roll it's not heavy metal it's not it doesn't have dark themes um it, 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 it just it, and it doesn't have that cool factor do you know what I mean I mean that cool factor when you used to look at the old um, heavy metal record covers and uh, t-shirts that got made and still get make made they they were super popular right and you look at some of the older artwork made by people for Dark Sun and uh, for the likes of um, Planescape and and it's it's I mean, there's, there's other aspects that are more comical, and I'm very much in the funny, comical sort of headspace. But it had a lot more hardcore stuff there. One of my favourite things... Did, did, did you ever read the fighting fantasy books, David? Um, are you talking about um, the Ian Livingstone? Yeah, yeah, Ian Livingstone and Steve Jackson. Steve Jackson, yes, I did. Yeah, I did read those books. Pick a Paths. Yeah, the Pick a Path, yeah. yeah. One of the things that I really noticed when I picked up the first book, which was um, Warlock of Fire Top Mountain, is the artwork was really detailed. It was, it was, it was hardcore. It was, it was grim. It was, and my, it was different to everything I had sort of seen when I first picked them up. And uh, it was, it was rough, and it was black and white. It wasn't color, and I'm like, but it was so good, and I kind of wish we had a lot more of that. But I wish we had it in colour. Can we not have that kind of 
you know, old early artwork that was put out by Ian Livingstone uh, or the uh, the Fighting Fantasy books, should I say, and um, the likes of the people who were um, painting for Dark Sun. Brom is a good example. Like, you know, when you think about Conan, Conan was... Conan and the depiction of Conan was... And art was just amazing. It's it's changed a bit over the years. It's gotten a bit more cartoony and uh, a bit more comic book-like. And um, I mean, you know, but when I say comic book-like, I mean sort of clean, sanitized. Um, it looks very professional, but it doesn't have that hardcore feel to it. Like it's in a, it's in a gritty world where things are dangerous and things. That's where game shops good. Yeah, they do, they do gritty very well with the artwork. They absolutely do. I mean, because they use they get proper painters to do paintings. Yes, well, which is really cool. Well, I, I mean, that, and that's what um, other companies have done too, to mm. a certain extent, but not to the degree that I I really have sort of enjoyed. Mm. Hello, Dungeons and Chronics. How are you doing? Howdy, howdy. Welcome, welcome. So yes, I I grew up on fan, fighting fantasy books and um, Hero Quest. Before I ever played Dungeons and Dragons, mm. Dungeons and Donuts, should I say, Dungeons mm. and Donuts. <clears throat> so there is no going back, but there is a transformation that is necessary. I think, I think that's the the key to this. Is um, I just have to accept the transformation, <clears throat> which is which is a shame because you know uh, I was hoping that I would at least be able to pay off all my expenses for last year. But that's going to take me three years to cover all the expenses by the looks of it for last year. It was very expensive to actually run this channel. Um, so, yes. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I have a, a job to supplement um, the fact that it costs so much. Anyway. Um, so, things like Death Trap Dungeon from Fighting Fantasy was like my, my first sort of foray into what a, a, a Death Trap Dungeon was like. Where you had the there was the blood beast, which was basically this horrible looking thing that looks kind of like a partly like a worm, and it it, it had it would it would sit in this this sort of stone bath of blood, and it just kicked your butt, and eat and it would eat you like it it was so tough to deal with. Um, <clears throat> but the you would actually also um, wind up finding yourself starting off with a whole lot of. Uh, non-player characters or other you know sort of characters within the story and as you explore through this location you come back across them because they all sort of split up you know you start off together and then you split up and you find them dead here there and everywhere and if they're not dead they're on the verge of being um you know just you know, utterly uh, obliterated <laughs> and it was it, it, what it it sort of th it actually threw home the fact that um, I really like the idea of dungeon horror. Like, I like the idea that monsters are, are, are horrific, which is strange because I've never been sort of tied really strongly to horror stories and movies. But uh, when it came to monsters and, and, the, and monster horror, um, it's a different thing. I don't know why that is. It's a strange combination. But what I would do is I would buy all those books... Um, basically with mum's money okay so to, to be fair I, don't, I I mean I didn't really there wasn't there wasn't a lot of money in the house so it, it had to be mum's money mum, mum would let me buy them because I, it meant I was reading another book and I wasn't very good at reading um, I had some problems with that so the more books I would read the better so I wound up with lots and lots of fighting fantasy books eventually by the time I finally left home and um, one of the pet peeves I imagine uh, was the fact that I would stack them. I wouldn't put them away uh, on a shelf or anything or put them away nicely somewhere, although I don't think there was, was there really any place to stick them? Not really. I don't remember there being. And there would just be stacks and stacks of books everywhere. And some of them would be, those stacks hadn't been touched for a long time and dust would settle on them. And of course, that would cause all sorts of problems for hay fever and cleaning and um, teenager being um, told to go and clean their room multiple times, multiple times. And you're still reading the same book or doing something, you know. How, how's it going, Wing Walker 007? It's good to have um, James Bond 007 back. I believe that Wing Walker will be replacing uh, uh, Daniel Craig in the future for future movies. Um, congratulations on getting the part. Um, always liked 
007. I would like to see actually 002 um, get uh, their own sort of movie. It would be nice to see 002. I thought 002 was, was really cool. Um, but that's just my opinion. Manta, Manta, Manticore, ha ho. I, 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 whatever that means. So yeah, we're Manticoring it today. <clears throat> now I, <clears throat> I think the problem with those the the original fighting fantasy boxes, as time went by, they got they didn't they weren't as good as they were before, and I suspect because that that's 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 somebody's no 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 that's she's pretending to be a cat. That's what you can hear. No, I spilt my drink. Oh, you spilt your drink? Do you need a cloth? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm just. Annoying. I have a cloth if you need a cloth. It's just annoying. It's yeah, just be, to, just be spill. careful they don't spill it on the floor on the carpet and or rug there while you're trying to dry, um, dry it off there. Yeah. You, that's probably a really bad place to position it too. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's right. David is just having to clean up. He's a uh, he's had a little accident. Was a Thundercat thing. I oh, was a Thundercat thing. I I will I watch Thundercats, but I don't really remember it. To be fair, I never really liked the Thundercats that much. I liked He Man, Masters of the Universe He Man. Mm -hmm. And um, I, what was what else is there? I mean, I watched all of them. I think they all. There was always Gargoyles. Yeah, but that was that's much that's later. That's your generation, mate. Yeah. Yeah. We got the best stuff. Ha 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 ha. Um, and yeah, there were a few things. I mean, I watched it all. What about the Care Bears? Oh, you must have the Care Bears in Wonderland. No, no, I didn't really like the Care Bears in Wonderland. That wasn't really my, no. It wasn't my thing. I can't remember how many times we watched that movie. The Care Bears, yeah, do you guys did watch that movie? Yeah, Mum recorded it. She recorded it, and then she just put it on. <laughs> we watched it over and over and over and over and over and over again. It was like Titanic. I yes. remember. Oh, oh no. I hate that movie. Oh, man. We had to watch the Titanic three-hour movie for yep. the umpteenth time. Yep. And go through the process of Leonardo yep. and... Three Sisters, <sighs> yay. Uh, uh, All obsessed with that movie. Yeah, and... And they would just watch it over and over, over, and, over and over again. I, I just, it used to drive me nuts. Yeah. Had to go do something else. Just could not cope with that. No. no it was too much for me. Yeah. I don't care how good a movie it is. You, mm. Yeah. There's only so many times you can watch it in a row before it's, and then every day, every day yeah, it, yeah, it would yeah. go back on again. Yeah. And, we, and I think this is part of the reason why I think um, Sam used to try to introduce him to other stuff, hoping that they would stop watching um, the Titanic movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By James Cameron. I mean, God, blimey, it used to be. It was be. It was bad. Yeah. At least the girls really liked the original Ghostbusters. Yes. Movie. Yep. Um, the second one, not so much. The first one, yes. Mm. Uh, the follow-up Ghostbusters. Oh, the follow-up. Sorry, follow-up Ghostbusters. Um, I can't remember when it was. Ah, oh, my man, I've never seen my sisters who loved Ghostbusters so distraught, and they were so excited because um, all of the main leads were women, mm. and it just didn't work. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know why it didn't work? It's because it's not a horror. They didn't make a horror, they tried to make a comedy, and that yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, you always know that... Um, when you get, to, you manage to convince Bill Murray to come and do another another um, Ghostbusters movie, and his scene is basically there where he just abuses and harasses the main characters, daring them to to kill him, um, <laughs> and then when they finally decide to do it, um, just opening his arms and like give it to me, throw me out the window, finish me off so I can get out of this movie, and then he takes the money and leaves. I mean that's essentially what happened. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. Yeah, a sad time that. Oh well, but then then the new the new Ghostbusters um, movie that they made, Afterlife, is, is significantly better. I yeah. really enjoyed that. Don't worry, I won't talk about those movies too much. Um, so yes, uh, yeah, I, I, and I don't have any of my fighting fantasy books anymore. Um, I, I never took them all with me or anything like that. It never even occurred to me that I needed to make sure I hung on to those sorts of things. I mean, I was flatting for years, so trying to cart around a lot of stuff was just impractical. So, yeah, but I do miss it. I, I actually tried to see if I could rebuy them, and you just can't rebuy them. I think they reprinted them, but they're awful. They're just not nearly the same as the original Fighting Fantasy. Um, and then they had the Sorcery series that came out where you could cast magic as well. You could cast spells. 
Uh, and then you had to you had to memorize what the spell was. So you had to make sure you you knew what the spell was, which essentially meant that you had to make sure you had a little bit of paper that you would write down what when you knew, learned the new spell, what the the code was, so you didn't wind up going to the wrong place. Otherwise, when you try to cast a spell, this is one of the things that was really interesting about fighting fantasy. When you cast spells, if you if you made a mistake casting the spell, it could kill you. It, there would be a disaster. Something bad would happen. Like a plasma gun. Yeah, you could wind up on another plane of existence. Um, or you could wind <laughs> up just blowing yourself up. Which uh, is fantastic. Uh, it is. It is fantastic. Um, I mean, obviously, it means, okay, you've got to make a new character. But then again, um, I had, you know, a lot of my characters, even whatever their name was, it was just, you know, um, um, uh, well, I guess I, Peter, number six. I mean, you just put another number behind, um, beside it and you're ready to go again. Yeah, it's yeah. not like you build a completely new character all over again. It's like, no, this is Peter number six. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Why am I using the word Peter? Because Peter did this to me. My, one of my uh, nephews, they did this, did, he did this to me. When I, one of his characters died, he actually just re, re... He didn't build a new character. When his character died, he just put another number um, beside the name. <laughs> uh, he said, no, I like playing this character. I'm just going to keep playing this one. Um, and if I can't play that character, I'm just going to make another character that's exactly identical to the last one. Mm -hmm. And I just put a number beside it. All done. You are right? Sorry. Yep. That's right. I, th I, think, I think we're all right. If you've hit the, the uh, camera and it's moved, we'll soon find out. <laughs> now for those of you who are wondering what what will happen so if if we not don't have to worry about a lot of the other programs i was running disappearing they're going to stay but maybe there'll be other stuff there going on well also even the um the the core mechanics that i was doing for dungeons and donuts 5e i will i'm just going to take out all of the verbiage and uh, wording that uh, might get me into trouble and that we're still ready to go. And I will probably cover other game systems other than um, Dungeons and Donuts. Um, you're probably going to see a lot of Star Wars. I will actually demonstrate how to play Star Wars Saga. How's that sound? Because I've got all the miniatures. I've got a few maps. So I don't have as many maps as I used to. But I do have a lot of them. So we can do that. I used to have a lot more stuff for that. I just It's kind of got lost over time. But I've got all my miniatures. I've got all of my spaceships. I've got all the creatures. I've got a Rancor miniature. You do. I do have a Rancor miniature. I have a lot of the creatures, the various creatures that you've seen in the movies. I've still got them. Um, and I've got the tanks. Uh, yeah, there's, I've got a lot. I bought a lot of Star Wars stuff. And it's just been sitting in my, my wardrobe for years doing nothing. Well, it's not going to be doing nothing anymore, mm. and so yeah, a <clears throat> little bit of little bit of science fiction. Let's uh, let's wield a, a lightsaber and a blaster for a little while. Mm. It might be might be fun. Yeah. Um, and depending on uh, the the response that that uh, finally comes out, you will probably see um, just mostly third party content. I'll probably just do mostly third. And I'll probably cover stuff that doesn't cost you any money because it's fan-made. So there's no money attached to it. Mm. Uh, which means that none of those things are made with the open game license. I actually did a whole lot of research uh, recently about, like, what is there out there that isn't made with the open game license that uh, I could uh, sort of, like, talk about. And uh, th there is actually quite a bit, much to my surprise... So I had actually made a list of all the different things that I could talk about. So that's uh, that's definitely on the cards. Um, and <laughs> it's not like it's not like I had an intended to do that. I had very much intended to do that. What's that? Um, Elmi? Is it is it Elmi? Elmi. Elmi. Elmi alone. Have you heard of Numeria, uh, Numenera? Yes, I have. The problem with that system is I will struggle to buy it in New Zealand. It's it's just... I guess because one role-playing game has been so dominant, um, a lot of the other, other games are just not stocked online uh, for me or in stores or anything like that, so they're actually really hard to get really really hard unless they've just been released and they're a completely new game a lot of the a lot of places just don't stock it um and you're thinking probably amazon it's impractical for me to buy from amazon frankly a lot of the time they won't send stuff to me 
Uh, and also the other problem with Amazon shipping. is is shipping cost. Yep. There's the sheer cost in, uh, in American money, uh, money to New Zealand money. It's it's just not practical. Yep. Not not for the sake of uh, a system that uh, just doesn't get enough traffic. So that's that's part of the problem. Hence why I I have to I have to make a system myself. I just have to make one, and I just have to make one that's so similar. Now all I need to do is find a, a decent 4K image of two sheep. I'm sure that can't be too hard to find. Well, I'm hoping it isn't. So if I can, we're all, I'm all good. Is that going to be the name of the game, two sheep? <laughs> uh, no, um, I, I, was, I was thinking of something else. Hello, Michael. Michael is a patron. How are you doing? You've, you're very late to this live stream. That's all right. You can be late. I guess I'll have Even to watch we, it later. We late. Yeah, can't, well, I mean, we were late as well. We're going to be going for about at least another 10 minutes because we've been going about for 55 minutes. Yeah. We were late coming to the party. So, uh, yeah, I'll be finishing just a little bit later than normal before I disappear off to the beach. We're off to the movies tonight, aren't we? Avatar um, 2. Avatar yep. Way of Water. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. Yep. Three and a half hours long. Although, wasn't the first movie like that kind of length as well? It was, it was it's, it's at least a three-hour movie, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty long. Yeah. So yeah. um yeah yeah it's just uh, uh you, you get used to it mm -hmm. you get used to it. <laughs> Will you try to get used to it? Well uh, you know uh, comfortable seats we've got comfortable seats this time. Uh, I looked at those seats and I was thinking I don't want to lie down. Don't lie down. Then. That, that they look like they're they're, they're reclining. They do recline if you want them to. Ah, uh, I I actually prefer these standard seats. Um I I prefer um watching TV at home. Mm -hmm. Because then I can just lie on my bed and watch TV. Yeah, well that's. And there's no beds in the theatre. No, we don't. No, well, you can get a bed, but that are more expensive. And I don't like the idea of having lying down in a picture theatre with other people while I'm watching a movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, yeah, I'm not going to make any references, but uh, to to Deadpool or anything like that. So, yeah. But it. Yeah, it just it just seems wrong, <laughs> in so many ways. Yeah. Um, the miniature looks good. Yeah, it's coming along. He's David. You're doing a pretty good job. Oh, thanks. I think after the um, the the palette cleansing new image, it did make a big difference. It did, it did. It's um, yeah, it's going to be all good. It's I'm I'm going to rectify the the, the unicorn. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm going to rectify the the rainbow unicorn. So I, I guess my biggest problem is figuring out what is a, a suitable image for the next thumbnail. Sheep. Uh, sheep. I don't know that sheep are going to work. Okay. No, no. I want the I want the image of the sheep to re represent cloning. Because, you know, remember the cloning experiments on animals? that They started with sheep. Oh. Uh, so it's, it's that. It's, it's like, a, oh, Fred's reverse engineering something or cloning something. Oh. Ah. Ah. Attack use, of the clones. Attack of the, why are they attack of the clones, dude? Focus Close. on your painting. Focus on your painting. <laughs> Why attack of the clones? You just said cloning. So cloning, yeah. cloning. I suppose. I suppose I could think that way. The um, clone wars. I can probably. I could probably take a a picture of what you've done, mm -hmm. cut it out, and make two of them. And know, and then stick it with Deadpool. Yeah. That would be funny. Um, I, I mean, I was sitting there trying to figure out how do I make something funny. And um, and I decided, David's a lot like Bob Ross. He's got the hair, he's got he's got the afro hair. Afro. Yeah, he, he's he's got the beard. Oh. Um, he's got those features. He's old. Oh man. <laughs> uh, he's he's got that positive attitude, like anything's good, no matter what you do. I don't know who you're describing. <laughs> Dolly, that's right, Dolly. You've got it right. I wanted to, I wanted, to, I wanted to take the piss out of cloning Dolly. Um, and, Dolly, yeah, yeah. Uh, for cloning an RPG, yeah. I really wanted to do that. What's this, Michael? Um, I really want to paint miniatures, but I, I don't think I have the the patience for it. But I, I want to know. Just get your brother to do it for you. Well, you can. <laughs> I think the, I think the trick is when you're painting miniatures is probably don't do it live. Okay. Yeah. Probably don't do it online. Yeah. Might help. Yeah. Um, and then the other aspect is that 
do it when you need to to de-stress because that's one of the reason one of the things that i found is when i had time and i needed to de-stress what would i do to de-stress like you have to you find a strategy right to de-stress yeah. and sometimes the, the the easiest thing to fall back on is you go watch tv to de-stress or a movie or you listen to music yeah, and sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's not enough because what you can do is you can watch tv or listen to music while painting miniatures yeah and don't buy small miniatures buy big big miniatures so it's easy to actually paint the details yeah yeah yeah. that's that's my advice to you yeah. if you're going to do any kind of painting is, is go big um large size or bigger yep and then if you get small ones just get pre-painted like like this little guy oh so the one that you're seeing which you probably it's not showing up on for us at present but david is actually showing you a bugbear from that was a part of a kickstarter um that was actually built i believe this is supposed to be that's clark isn't it mm, it is clark. i think i'm pretty sure that's clark that's supposed to be in the um the lost mine of fendalba uh, adventure so yeah um we got sent a whole bunch of miniatures um for that and uh was i was supposed to do a whole lot with it and i, I just it just didn't turn out it just it, it, things just got in the way and so it didn't work out the way i'd hoped um, for a variety of different reasons so but yeah that's it's a cool miniature yeah yeah that's cool you've gone with um so you're going to go with a lot more sort of bone look lighter colors for the spikes i see yep i am um because that's what they've done yeah yep no unfortunately though it this model does not look as cool as that image because that image looks well, spot on cool well yeah but i mean it's a painting rather than a miniature and and yeah. and to be fair you're trying to paint to if you were to paint this in your own time how long do you think it would take you probably not as long and it probably would look three times better <laughs> to be truly honest it's because of the talking right and the and the live stream and how i have to position myself oh yeah the position on um, the, the fact that i don't have an airbrush with me on hand which i sort of jump to every now and then if i need to right um yeah it's, it's it's just yeah live stream painting is just not the same yeah yeah but bits a bit bit harder it's just, a, bit, a bit harder yeah but it's it's not designed to um show you how to paint a masterpiece these ones anyway it's just sort of uh, but you can go to my channel if you want to see some masterpiece stuff <laughs> um and i can i can probably pre-record yeah because I, I i'm also like I, I like a lot of third-party models as well because i've discovered every time i do these models here I go, I, when I go home, I have a look. Oh, what, I wonder who else could make a manticore. What, who else is making stuff like this? So I look it up and I find some amazing freaking models um, that look more like the the picture in the book. Um, yeah, these are um, these are very simple, simple made models, eh? Really? Mm -hmm, yeah. They're, they're simple. Yeah. They are pretty simple. So yeah. So what have we got here? My my name was supposed to be Alim E Alone, as in play off leave me alone i see okay uh, it's it went whoof, way over the top of my head yep, yep. um leave me alone I, I do you know if you had just called your name your, your, and yourself I, leave reason, me alone i would have i've figured that one out for some you, reason what <laughs> popped into my head with that one was the alamo the alamo yeah i don't you know the alamo from the um, american wheel from london yeah, <laughs> american werewolf in london yeah, yeah. remember the, the alamo I don't understand. I thought you were talking about the Alamo as in, as in uh, North American history. Remember no, the Alamo. That, the, the Alamo. The Alamo. Are you talking about a different Alamo? I don't know don't what. Different Alamo yeah, we are definitely talking What's about the, the story. They said they, they talk about it in the pub. Uh, oh God! Okay. Remember the Alamo. Re remember the that's that's what you remember from the Alamo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it from American Wolf in, in London. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. It's you, a good movie. You didn't do very well in history, did you, when you went to school? I don't know if I even bothered. Yeah, I, I believe that. Um, go big or go home. Got it. Yes. Go and big. Go home. <laughs> um, with 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 with. Will you be using a wash, and are you doing dry brushing? I am using a wash right now. And David doesn't like dry brushing. He, he, no. he, David will dry brush if he absolutely, absolutely has to has as a to. last resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what I, I think you were telling me that you you prefer wet layering. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wet blending. That's the one. Well, wet blending. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the, what's the new system that you hate that so it makes it so easy to paint stuff? Slap chop. Slap chop, which is. And for all of you guys who don't like painting, 
um, but one your minutes is to look pretty cool quite easily go and buy some um, either Citadel contrast paints or army painter speed paints and paint your model gray or white and then you just slap on these contrast paints whatever color they are and they just make your miniature look like a pro miniature and you have your models painted in about 10 minutes yeah yeah so gay don't like it mm. um, super lame <laughs> But so, so if you're we're, not a painter we're, we're, and you're a gamer and you just want to get your model on the table, very, very, you know, go for it. So when Day, David refer, um, refers to gay, he's not referring to the gay in the way you think. No, no, not, no. not, not, not the, um, yeah. the um, was it woke? No, let's not even go there. Okay. No, no, he's not. Refer, he's not referring to the um, the sexuality. Sexuality. No. no, no. I'm referring to the, the lame, basically. Yeah, like, he, like he, it's, it's it's just not cool. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a colloquial um, term. It's a slang. Yeah, it's a slang yeah, thing. It's, it's not actually. Um, yeah. yeah, it's not not related to the other thing at all. Do you know? I remember when we could use the word gay yeah. to refer to us just being happy. But but oh it, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and 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 now of all of the the way that language has sort of gone on the internet, uh, can't it's, say it's anything utterly about. insane. Um, you can't even say I feeling gay, and somebody's like, "Oh, are you homosexual?" And I'm like, "No, that's not what I mean. I, what I mean is I'm feeling happy. Yeah, I'm happy, joyous. Um, what was it? Um, <laughs> witty and witty and glee. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Side story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that must be an outlawed now. That song. I don't know. Um, I remember one of my um, favourite children books um, got uh, decimated by um, by the paranoia around all sorts of languages. Really? Yeah, and variety of things. It's like everything that's ever been made is um, is um, deemed as um, a, a product of um, satanic worship, which oh. is it's very strange. It's very strange. Anyway. You know, even satanic worship isn't satanic worship, you know? Well, I'm not even referring that it's saying suggesting that's a good thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, but, but yeah, it is like yeah. Everybody seems to see villains where villains just don't exist. Yeah, this is, this is why we play role playing games to get away from all of this this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have to deal with it um, so much. Uh, yeah. Anyway. It's weird. It's, it's weird. It's just it's, weird. It's weird. It's say. weird. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't get it. Yeah, I find it even harder to actually identify with and understand because i'm in new zealand and uh and when i talk to people from north america who are on youtube and they they express these things i'm like but i that's that is that that seems just so strange to mm. me so this is a huge dichotomy that i have with a lot of the other content creators is that, you know they see things so differently whereas i'm like how could you po possibly um connect that to something else mm. yeah Anyway, so um, as a as a product of that, you are going to have to suffer through a lot more Deadpool jokes from me, mm. and I will warn you now. I may overstep. There are a few there that are that are very foodie. Ryan Reynolds is the, the overstepper. Well, so I, it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, but at least it's. I mean, I think it's funny. Uh, well, so, does, so does he yeah so the, i mean and so the most pretty much everyone that watches his movies yeah so, so yeah it's good it's all good yeah yeah we're, we're, so i've got a few of those coming uh, uh and we need a bit of laughter yeah i, I, feel, I feel like everything's just way too serious yeah. right now way too way serious, too serious. Uh, do do you want to keep going are you going to do finish this wash and then we'll finish this wash and then we'll uh we'll pack up the uh the bag and um and, go, uh, go you're going to go to the beach i'm going to go to the beach and, um, we're going to watch um avatar later mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan, and we won't tell anybody about it. No, we tomorrow. won't. No, we will. We'll go. We'll either just say the word. It's, um, we thought it was good, or we thought it wasn't. But I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, it will be. I th we thought it was good. Yeah, I, I think. I think we can say it's probably going to be pretty. Good. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. I'm not that picky. Do you know what I mean? I, I just, I just want the movie to take me out of my current world to somewhere else for a little while. Pandora. Apparently, Pandora is uh, involved. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's, uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll go to the underwaters of Pandora and for a few hours. Yeah, yeah, like three and a half. Three and a half of those. Yeah. Probably four hours once we've got all through the ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a while to eat ice cream. It's like it's like half a shift at work. <laughs> hey, soon I'm going to be spending seventeen hours on an airplane. Oh, that's right. That's right. Can you even imagine that? Mm. 
You can't. No, I you can't. I, I couldn't. You I couldn't. couldn't. I couldn't cope. No. Uh, what's this, Michael? I hope you enjoy Avatar 2. I plan to uh, watch it myself. Good. I'm, I'm glad. Cool, cool. More people go see that. I'm, I'm happy. I understand it's almost hit the $2 billion mark. Yep. That was a um, smart thing to wait for so long. Yeah, so don't run away because I have I have a, a meme for you as I sign out. But first, I will make sure to pop in a link for the David's uh, channel, um, for those of you who are interested. Don't get too worried about the fact there's a lot of cars on there because David will be uploading a lot of other stuff as well. I will be. It's just I've just got to, I've got to just finish off getting that stuff up there. Um, yep. Yeah. But then, then other stuff will go up. I'm, I'm working on other stuff, don't worry. Yeah, it's that. It's that. Do so you want to show off the miniature work, very so quickly? It's a work in progress. Before I, I, uh, I show them what I've got for them. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got, you know, we're getting there. But uh, there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah. So, um, I, 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 it's possible I might take all week to paint this. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> Let us, uh, let us transition over to the most appropriate image I could possibly find, to those of you who are still here. Uh, Fred, I'm sorry if you aren't doing well lately. I hope you both are. And, uh, we're, uh, we're coping. Yeah. Don't you worry. Er, 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 it's all going to be good. Hmm. Yeah, I'll finish my holiday. Um, I'm currently reading The Tome of Beasts 2. I finished through what I was working with before. Our poll. Is Bob Ross a good painter? Apparently most people feel that Bob Ross is. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I think maybe the next question has to... to it's do positive. With, we'll ask a question about Deadpool tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. Uh, whatever I remember. I, probably, I don't mind talking about Deadpool. I love those movies. I, I'll probably forget. And that, that, that'll be the problem. It's like, oh, I know what I want to say, and then I don't know what to say because I forget. That's very common. Uh, I hate to say it. Very, very common. Anyway, uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's get round here. Back, back into place. All right. So now that I'm actually back in place, I, I have to like clamber around my brother because the office is so small to get to my chair, which it's very is very warm in here. It's very hot. I should have taken. I should have. I should have decloaked. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. For so for those of you who are struggling to find out where the the unicorn's gone, okay. You you look. You do for, by all means just ask me in the comments section, and I'll let you know where the unicorn has gone. Okay. Anyway, so thank you to my patrons who have been supporting me. Really, you are going to probably wind up being absolutely vital going forward. I can't tell you how important it is right now. Um, also, I want to thank everybody who's been part of the live stream, either commenting. Um, you, you, Voting in the um, in the poll and also just watching it makes a big difference. It really does help. Thank you. Otherwise, like, why am I here in the first place if there's nobody around to watch yeah. and, and chat and, and talk with? It just it doesn't make any sense, does it? Mm. Uh, thank you for watching the replays, the edited videos, putting up with my little shorts videos. Mm. I haven't finished um, Dungeon Twenty Three. I'm just behind. It is going to get done. I'm I'm working my way through this. It's taken me a little bit of time. I'm, it's uh, it, yeah. Holiday, holiday mode. I'm in holiday mode. I'm supposed to be at the beach having yeah. fun, which is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Hey, David, thank you for coming. No worries. I'll, I'll be I'll be back tomorrow. Yep, David will be back tomorrow. Um, so will our hopefully funny comments or at least banter. We'll, we'll try to figure out if there's a banter we can actually work with that will work. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't do anything. No bantering that involves hitting each other, though. That would be no. bad. So wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours. I'm not going to say you need to be nice to Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast um, management. I'm not going to do that. No. No. But I'm going to say, if you can't see the funny side of things, with all the things that are going on, You've got to try and find the funny side of things. Mm, mm. Because I see the funny side of things. Mm. This is quite entertaining in many respects. Mm. Since this has happened at least twice now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It is actually yeah. entertaining. Eh? It, it is. It is. It is. Sparked interest. Yeah, it sparked interest. Yeah. yeah it's fired people up. You've got to see the funny side of things, even when they think them that they, they, they don't look that great. Yeah, yeah. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.
Hi Rubik, I didn't notice you there. Yeah, I do remember you did. Yes, Rubik is actually a patron, and uh, I really do appreciate the fact that you are. Okay, let's see if we can fix that. No, it's not. That's, no, that's good. And um, Godfatherhood. Stop, stop. You can't do that. It's not going to work. You're going to have to split it. Oh, right. That's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Rubik, um, I'm, I do appreciate it. My brother is trying to figure out how to write a sentence right now. Um, because by now we, we should be gone. No, see, there's th thank you is not two words, dude. It's 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 not one word, it's two words. You have to well, say it hasn't spell checked that one. No, it's not doing a spell check it because it doesn't know what to do with it. You, you, have, you have to get rid of the box. That's right. Okay, now I do appreciate that, time, Rubik. Um, you, you're all probably going to wind up getting a lot more stuff. I don't know how I'm supposed to keep up with it, but there's going to be no shortage of material. <laughs> All right, okay, have you got it? If you... <laughs> uh, dear. Anyway. <laughs>